Welcome back everybody, thank you for watching another video. Tonight I want to share with you a product that if you are a coffee drinker, it's going to take your coffee drinking experiences to a whole different level. Tonight we're going to be having a look at the Kruv EQ tasting glasses. And as always guys, if at the ending of the video you want to purchase the Kruv EQ glasses, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Now the idea behind these glasses is it's following the third wave of coffee where it's basically treating that coffee bean like a grape is to wine. It's all about where it's grown, who's picking it, how they're drying it, how high of an elevation is it grown at. So the trend is treating the coffee bean like a grape is to wine, so why not have the glassware to match it? For example, you probably wouldn't want to put champagne in a glass that looks like this. This is a red wine glass. Champagne flutes normally are very narrow to concentrate all that wonderful carbonation so when you drink it, it's just bouncing around in your mouth. It also really concentrates the acidity from the fruit in there. If you were to put champagne in a glass like this, it's very wide. There's gonna be a lot of carbonation popping up over the top. It's gonna feel and taste different in your mouth. Now, when you put a red wine in here with this awesome bowl down here, that awesome aroma goes in there. You swish it around, the aromatics are wonderful, and red wine really tastes good out of one of these. All right, so there's a great example of how two different pieces of glassware are used to intensify and make the tasting experience different between two different types of wine. But what if it's the same alcohol or the same liquid? How can changing the glass change that experience? All right, let's take bourbon or whiskey. Let's say you got the same bourbon or whiskey that you've been drinking for years now. You already know the taste, you love it, the smell is great. You just wanna throw some ice cubes in there and have a drink and relax. You're probably gonna grab something that looks like this. Very common, all right? Everybody's got one of these in their house if you're a whiskey drinker. But let's say now you're trying something new and you really wanna to get to know this bourbon or whiskey intimately. You wanna really intensify that experience you're probably gonna grab something that looks like this. That bowl in there is really gonna gather the smell and the aroma and force it right up the top here. And that is exactly what these EQ glasses do. They give you the opportunity to decide, do you want something a little bit more mellow or something that's really more intensified and amplified? Let's have a closer look at these glasses. All right, guys, here are your two EQ glasses from Kruv. And again, the term EQ stands for equalizer, coming from the audio field where an equalizer gives the listener a chance to bring out the lows, the mids, and the highs so you can enjoy that music as these glasses are both going to bring out and mute certain aspects of the coffee that you're drinking. Now, the one on the right here is called the Inspire. It's more like the Glen Karen glass that we talked about earlier. And the one on the left is called the Excite. And this one is more like the glass tumbler that we saw earlier. Now we're going to get some coffee in here in just a little bit, but I just want to talk about the design choices that they made. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. It's very contemporary, very futuristic looking. I like the fact that they use glass. You can see straight through it. You can see the color of your roast, enjoy the texture and the oils that are floating through it. Uh, this is borosilicon and glass, so it's double walled down here as we're going to see in a minute, which means that when it's super hot, you can grab onto it. And you really want to try to enjoy your coffee at right around 135 to 140 degrees so you don't burn your tongue. But when it's hot, you can grab right onto it. And then it transitions into a single wall, just like a wine glass, so that it's better feeling in your mouth. All right, let's get some coffee in here. I let this cool out so that the uh, heat doesn't disturb. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, now we can better see the inside. So both of these are going to be five ounces. So that's five ounces. And on the other side, we're going to get a chance to see the five ounces on this side here. It's an awesome sound. There we go. Okay. All right, check it out. Now we can actually see better the design feature that it's inversed. So again, thicker, thinner, then thicker, thinner. They're opposite of each other, basically. Really comfortable to grab onto right down here. So both of these rims make it comfortable to grab onto. And again, the double wall construction, very easy to grip onto even when the coffee is hot. And I would assume because it is double wall that it would keep the coffee hotter a little bit longer. Now, of course, when you're looking at these two, the Excite has the wider rim. The Inspire has a more narrow rim on the top. So this is gonna more directly funnel the coffee into certain parts of your mouth. 
when the Excite is going to spread it all the way around. Now when you check out the Kruv website, they recommend that the Excite be used for darker roast. It's going to trap the aroma in this bulb down here and enhance sweetness. So coffees that are darker in roast, that are maybe nuttier, maybe a little more bitter and more heavily roasted, that is what this is for. It's really going to mute acidity. Then on the other side, you can see just how little headspace this has in here. And that's really supposed to intensify acidity. So coffees that are medium roast and light roast have high acidity taste to it, like citrus. So that's going to intensify those types of experiences. Now, if you take it from the wine example I gave you, this would be more of the uh, champagne glass and this would be more of the Cabernet glass. However, if you use the whiskey example I gave you, it doesn't matter what you put in what glass. To me, it's what you feel like you want to intensify. Just because it's a dark coffee doesn't mean you don't want to pump up the volume on what the roast smells like and the bitterness. You throw it in here and you're really going to be able to taste and smell the difference. Whereas maybe if you have a lighter roast, a medium or lighter roast, and you don't like how like, it's like how high the acidity tastes, maybe you take it from here and you put it in here, stretch out that smell and that flavor, and it's going to be more muted. So I think that the whiskey approach where you are in control, again, just like an equalizer, right? You don't want too much base, you turn the base down. You want a little bit more highs, you put it up or down. That's what these let you do. So there's a lot of different angles and ways that you can use these two glasses. So what are my final thoughts on the Kruv EQ glasses? Here's my recommendation. If you are a coffee nut or you know somebody else that is, you gotta pick up a set of these glasses. It's really gonna change the way that you experience your coffee. And I'm not trying to say you gotta use these every day, right? We're all busy, we got jobs, maybe you got kids running all over the house, maybe you're late for work, just get your coffee, stuff it in what you can, and you're on your way. However, if you're going to go through the trouble of going out there and purchasing that specialty coffee bean, grinding it down, making your own brew, don't make the mistake of putting it in a coffee mug. Pick up a set of these glasses. Remember to go check out the Crew website. They got a lot of other great gear out there for coffee lovers. And remember, if you want to purchase these glasses, make sure you check out the links in the description below. Guys, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.